Hi friends, in this lecture, let us see the learning tasks. So I have mentioned here NN stands for neural networks and LT stands for learning tasks. So the first learning task is pattern association. So how the pattern association will be performed by using neural network? Actually, the main types of pattern association are auto pattern, auto association and hetero association. Actually, what is an association? An associative memory is a brain-like distributed memory that learns by association. That means, as we are keeping giving some data to the network or to the brain, it will store the data one on the other and it will keep the data as association with some other data so that it, whenever you are trying to retrieve it, it will automatically retrieve the data. That's what happened in our brain that what we need to impart in the machine so let's move on there are the differences between auto association and hetero association what is meant by auto association so auto association means a neural network is required to store a set of patterns by repeatedly presenting them to the network actually it has to store some patterns after it has to store some some input patterns and that will be done by repeatedly presenting them to the network. We are keeping, we are keep on giving the same data to the network. Then it will be stored. And now the network is subsequently presented a partial description or distorted version of an original pattern stored in. Now what happened? The network is subsequently presented a partial description or distorted version. So whether it is giving half of, half of the data or some extra data also to you and your job is the task is to retrieve that particular pattern that you have to identify that's the your goal that is the main objective in auto association coming to hetero association here an arbitrary set of input pattern is paired with the another arbitrary set of output pattern this is the difference between auto association and hetero association Coming to auto association, in auto association unsupervised learning is used and in hetero association supervised learning is used. Okay, that's the difference between auto association and hetero association. Coming to mathematical representations, let xk denote a pattern, a key pattern. xk is the key pattern and yk is a memorized pattern. And the pattern association performed by the network is described by xk stands xk implies yk where k is equal to 1, 2 and so on. Here. We can simply say that xk is input and yk is output. Maybe once some after keep on giving some inputs to the network, input network has stored something and that something will be memorized pattern now and that something is yk. Now we are asking one pattern to retrieve. That pattern is xk here. xk denotes the key pattern and yk denotes the memorized pattern. How it will be? The pattern association is performed. How it will be performed? And that will be given in a simple thing as xk gives rise to yk where k is equal to 1, 2 and so on. q. Simple. q is the number of patterns stored in the net. And xk is the stimulus, xk is the stimulus or the input that not only determines the location of the memorized pattern but also holds a key for its retrieval. xk is having the information to get the location of yk and also the key for the retrieval of the information. Okay, those two informations will be kept in xk. That's the mathematical representation of pattern association and based on this again in auto association there is a difference and in hetero association also there is a difference the difference is here yk is equal to xk that means the dimensionality is same for both input and output but in hetero association the dimensionality is not at all same maybe it may be same or may not be same that's the difference based on the formula between auto association and hetero association.
Next, phases of SOC2 memory. Yeah, there are two phases. One is storage phase, and second one is recall phase. Yeah, as we already discussed. First, we need to give some input to the network repeatedly so that it will store the data. So that is called storage phase. And again, we need to give a input to retrieve some data, and that is called recall phase. Very simple. So storage phase, which refers to the training of the network in accordance with the formula x k tends to y k, and recall phase, which involves the retrieval of a memorized pattern in response to the network. Okay, it, it it is the recall phase involves the retrieval of the memorized pattern. In storage phase, some patterns are stored, and in recall phase, one of the patterns will be retrieved. Coming to input output relation, so this is the pattern associator. So the input is input vector is x, and output vector is y. So let let small x represents a noisy version of xj that means xj is our particular version and x is the noisy version and it produces a response small y as shown in the figure above so for a perfect recall how can how can we say that it's a perfect recall so for a perfect recall y should be equal to yz where yz is the memorized pattern for xj that means x is equal to xj if there is an error in recall how can we declare that if y is not equal to yz when x is equal to x very simple simple concept the concept is very simple what is the concept is if xj is given yj has to come up if x is given y has to come up simple so for perfect recall what we can say y is equal to yj if x is equal to xj for error in recall even though x is equal to xj you are unable to get the same pattern so y is equal to y is not equal to yz that's the thing in pattern association so these two are called one is perfect recall second one is error recall so this is the complete explanation of pattern association Thank you for 300 plus subscriptions and please if you like this video please like it. If you have any doubts please write in the comment box and please share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do that and try to press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever I upload the videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.